the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I would like to welcome you to the episode of Thunder of God. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 24 verse 45, the Bible says, Jesus opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Now we are going to pray. May the risen Lord Jesus Christ open your minds and your families so that you may understand the scriptures. Now let us offer our life to the spirit of Jesus and let us give him glory and honor and let us invoke the Holy Spirit. Let us ask our heavenly Father to send his spirit into our lives so let us raise our hands now and give him glory and honor hallelujah 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 holy spirit come holy spirit come holy spirit empower us holy spirit strengthen us holy spirit purify us holy spirit we need you holy spirit come holy spirit come holy spirit Spirit of God, come down. Spirit of God, rain down. Holy Spirit. Spirit of God, come into my life. Spirit of God, rain down. Let your power follow me. Holy oh, Spirit of God, fall, follow me. Spirit, follow me. Let your power follow me. Holy oh, Spirit of God. Fall, fall on me, spirit, fall on me. I pray you rain down, down, rain down in my life. You Amen. Rain down, Amen. rain down, spirit of God. Rain down, we pray together. Down, rain down, Holy Spirit. In my life you rain down, Holy Spirit. Rain down, empower us, Holy Spirit. Rain down, down, rain down in my life you rain down, rain down. down rain down in my life you rain down rain down oh, we clap our hands and sing together holy spirit come holy spirit fill the hearts of thy faithful in kindle the fire of your love send forth your spirit they shall be created rain down holy holy spirit rain down down rain down in my life you rain down Rain down Rain down down rain down in my life you rain down rain down let your power fall on me holy spirit of god fall fall on me spirit fall on me let your power fall on me holy spirit of god fall fall on me spirit fall on me god bring you rain down down rain down in my life you rain down rain down rain down down rain down in my life you rain down rain holy down spirit. holy spirit down. holy spirit down rain down holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit rain down holy spirit rain down holy spirit holy spirit rain down holy spirit down rain down in my life holy holy spirit rain down hallelujah hallelujah down rain down in my life you rain down rain down move in this place rain down touch your people heal your people deliver your people holy spirit holy spirit spirit of jesus down rain down in my life you rain down rain rain down holy spirit come holy spirit holy holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit oh spirit of jesus anoint us empower us oh strengthen us holy spirit open our minds to understand the scriptures holy spirit oh you are the living waters come holy spirit wash us holy spirit cleanse us holy spirit empower us holy spirit surround us holy spirit 
Come Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my dear friends in Christ Jesus. When we hear the word of God and when we believe in the power of the word of God, we really receive healings in our families. So I would like to read a testimony from a lady who lives in Birmingham, UK. My daughter, eight years old Marin, had an allergic reaction followed by face painting in August 2013. We tried all medications, but none helped out. We had no one to rely on apart from our most loving Jesus. We regularly attend Second Saturday Catholic Charismatic Convention in Birmingham, UK. And one day, Sister Mina prayed for us and the Holy Spirit revealed her that we are not reading the Holy Bible enough. So we took the decision to obey the Holy Spirit. When we started reading the Holy Bible and promised testimony at the Second Saturday Bible Convention, the allergic reaction started fading, uh, fading and it is completely healed now. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my dear brothers and sisters, when this family began to read the uh, word of God, really the Lord began to work in their families. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I know this family personally, they come regularly to hear the word of God every second Saturday to, uh, to, uh, to hear the word of God during the time of the preaching the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today I would like to speak to you about one of the most beautiful gifts of the Holy Spirit called the fear of the Lord. Our blessed Virgin Mary in her Magnificat, she said a beautiful thing. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 50. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. So his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is a very, very positive virtue, the fear of the Lord. It's not a negative thing. To fear the Lord means we don't want to be scared about God. He's our loving father. Fear of the Lord means we respect him, we love him. When we think about his mercy, we really think about our littleness. We are very small. And he's great. And this really gives us this beautiful fruit of the Holy Spirit called the fear of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Sirach, chapter 40, verse 26 and 27. So it speaks about this beautiful gift. Please open your Bible. If you are listening to the word of God in your homes, please open your Bible. Book of Sirach, chapter 40, verses 26 and 27. Riches and strength build up confidence. But the fear of the Lord is better than either. There is no want in the fear of the Lord, and with it there is no need to seek for help. The fear of the Lord is like a garden of blessing and covers a person better than any glory. The fear of the Lord is like a garden of blessing. So the fear of the Lord is like a garden of blessing. So I think many of you may have gardens. Maybe you may be growing vegetables or fruits or maybe flowers. So different types of flowers in your garden or different varieties of fruits in your garden. So the Bible says the fear of the Lord is like a garden. So it is the source of all other blessings. Praise the Lord. Praise and the Bible the says, it covers a person better than any glory. The people of the world may be happy when they are rich, when they get popularity, 
when they get good marks in their exams but the bible says the fear of the lord that covers a person in all glory praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus i think some of you might have heard of saint catherine of siena she was the youngest of 25 children of her parents they were rich family in siena at the age of 6 catherine had a special revelation from our lord jesus so the lord gave her this beautiful virtue of the fear of the lord so once her heart was filled with the love of god and the fear of the lord she took a decision to pray constantly in her house though her parents couldn't approve it she had this strong desire to spend her life in prayer and mortification at the age of 16 she joined the third order of the dominicans that means to us a an association for lay people and she began her life as a strong, strong prayer warrior as you know she had this beautiful gift in her heart so that she could really renew the church or revive the church the church the catholic church was in a great great problem in in her uh, times the pope really was afraid of staying in rome so he went to avignon in france but the lord jesus gave this saint catherine the, uh, his wisdom his fear of the lord so she could go to france and asked the pope to go back to rome and the pope obeyed her that much great was the saint she could influence the pope she could direct the pope praise the lord praise, praise the so lord. my dear friends is a great gift the fear of the lord so it's a gift from the holy spirit in the book of isaiah chapter 11 verses 2 and 3 speak about different gifts of the holy spirit and one of the most important gifts is written there is the fear of the lord so let us open the bible book of isaiah chapter 11 verse 2 and 3 the spirit of the lord shall rest on him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the lord his delight shall be in the fear of the lord his delight shall be in the fear of the lord praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord so my dear brothers and sisters we have to be uh, very joyful because the lord has given us this gift but the world does not respect this gift now but the lord has given us the grace to respect this gift and let us value this gift it's a very very important gift the fear of the lord and pope francis he gave a beautiful sermon about the gift of the fear of the lord and he says the fear of the lord is a beautiful gift from the holy spirit and he explains it like this he says it's a respectful and trusting abandonment into the hands of our heavenly father so it's a respectful and trusting abandonment into the hands of our heavenly father so a person who receives this gift of the fear of the lord commits himself into the hands of the heavenly father he is fully convinced that the heavenly father is merciful he is always merciful he always shows his compassion to all of us so this really gives him confidence courage and this is the fear of the lord praise the lord praise and the lord. again the pope francis says when a person receives receives this gift it's an alarm it's a warning so when we have a human tendency to commit a sin so 
this gift of the fear of the lord gives us a warning this he the gift really uh, wants us not to commit that sin that is the speciality of the gift fear of the lord praise the lord praise the lord and saint paul in his letter to the philippians chapter 2 speaks about the gift of the, of the fear of the lord so philippians chapter 2 verse 12 let us hear the word of god now therefore my beloved just as you always have obeyed me not only in my presence but much more now in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and trembling when the holy spirit gives us this gift we will work for the salvation of our own souls so this is very very important maybe in the time of saint paul the people in philippi they really tried to love god at the presence of paul but when paul went back from them to another church some of them really couldn't love the lord as they were loving the lord before that's why saint paul says you have to work for your salvation you have to be be in the presence of the lord with the fear and trembling so it's a great gift hallelujah hallelujah in the book of proverbs chapter 1 verses 7 the bible speaks a beautiful thing proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge fools despise wisdom and instruction those who do not fear of the fear the lord are fools so in this modern era the holy spirit is inspiring each one of us to work for this gift we have to earnestly desire for this gift so it's a fruit of the holy spirit the holy spirit really wants to give each one of you this gift praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus so praise you jesus praise you jesus that's why the psalmist when he prays he is praying to god god give me this gift chapter 34 psalm chapter 34 verses 6 and 7 the psalmist is praying to the lord lord This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers him. When we fear the Lord what happens? The angel of the Lord comes to help us. The angel of the Lord delivers us from the snares of darkness. so my dear brothers and sisters it's a great blessing to have this great gift of the fear of the lord now let us close our eyes earnestly desire for this gift oh heavenly father we thank you for giving us the gift of the fear of the lord lord we need more portion of your anointing so that we may love this gift so that we may earnestly desire for this gift of the fear of the lord fill our hearts with this gift oh lord increase in us the desire to have the gift of the fear of the lord lord i ask you to bless each and every one who hear the word of god now be filled with this gift Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Praise Jesus. you Jesus. Praise We glorify Jesus. your name. Glorify Lord fill us with this gift of the fear of the Lord. Fill the hearts of our offspring the with the gift of the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Lord. Worship you Lord. Worship you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Lord. Praise you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Come Holy Spirit. Fill us. Kindle us the fire of your love, Holy Spirit. Oh, come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your love. Go 
Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 50. His mercy is for those who fear the Lord from generation to generation. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 34, verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall be continually in my mouth. O Lord, give us that grace to give you honor and glory at all times. Jesus, we offer our entire life into your mighty hands. O oh Lord, fill us with your, your gifts, especially we need the gift of the fear of the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us surrender our life to Jesus and raise our hands towards him and give him glory and honor and ask the Lord to fill in our hearts this gift of the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. More power. Yes, Jesus. More of you in my life. Oh, Jesus. More love. Oh, Heavenly Father. More power. You. I will worship you with all of my mind, and I will worship you with all of my mind, and I will worship you with all of my strength, for you are my God. Yes, you are my God. You are my God. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify you, we adore you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this gift of the fear of the Lord. Lord, now we pray for an increase of this gift. Holy Spirit, we need this gift more and more. We need more portion of your anointing. My dear sisters and brothers, now when you receive the blessing from the Eucharistic Lord, Ask the Lord from your heart and thirst for this gift of the fear of the Lord. So please, please surrender your life to him and ask him to pour out this gift into our hearts now. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, 
sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving.